The world is yourself pushed out. Ask yourself what you want, and then give it to yourself. Do not question how it will come about. Just go on your way, knowing that the evidence of what you have done must appear, and it will. Truth depends on the intensity of imagination, not upon fact. Change your conception of yourself, and you will automatically change the world in which you live. Do not try to change people. They are only messengers telling you who you are. Revalue yourself, and they will confirm the change. Your opinion of yourself is your most important viewpoint. You are infinitely greater than you think you are. All you can possibly need or desire is already yours. Call your desires into being by imagining and feeling your wish fulfilled. Because of your belief in external things, you think power into them by transferring the power that you are to the external thing. Realize you yourself are the power you have mistakenly given to outer conditions. Nothing comes from without. All things come from within. Be careful of your moods and feelings, for there is an unbroken connection between your feelings and your visible world. When you attain the control of the internal direction of your attention, you will no longer stand in the shallow water, but will launch out into the deep of life. Wealth, beauty, and genius are not created. They are only manifested by the arrangement of your mind. That is, by your concept of yourself. And your concept of yourself is all that you accept and consent to as true. The difference between feeling yourself in action here and now and visualizing yourself in action as though you were on a motion picture screen is the difference between success and failure. If you judge after appearances, you will continue to be enslaved by the evidence of your senses. Stop trying to change the world since it is only a mirror. Man's attempt to change the world by force is as fruitless as breaking a mirror in the hope of changing his face. Leave the mirror and change your face. Leave the world alone and change your conceptions of yourself. Everything depends upon our attitude towards ourselves. That which we will not affirm as true of ourselves cannot develop in our life. Don't condemn yourself for the state into which you have fallen. If you don't like it, move into another. An awakened imagination works with a purpose. It creates and conserves the desirable and transforms or destroys the undesirable. Nothing comes from without. All things come from within, from the subconscious. Dare to believe in the reality of your assumption and watch the world play its part relative to its fulfillment.
When you drop your desire in consciousness as a seed, confident that it shall appear in its full-blown potential, you have done all that is expected of you. To be worried or concerned about the manner of your unfoldment is to hold these fertile seeds in mental grasp.